can you hear? Can yes. you hear me? Okay. Yes, please. Yeah, I, I think there, no, I was asked uh, by the secretariat that and I should wrap, do some wrap up about the discussion and also do the closing remarks. And uh, <clears throat> doing the wrap up of this kind of discussion is very difficult because uh, most of the important things has been already said by the participants, some of the participants. Mm -hmm. But I, I think there are, I have, I could pick up some of the observation and some of the uh, opinions. And uh, I, I would like to briefly summarize that kind of the observations. The first, I think that what COVID changes our discussion compared to the last year's discussion or two years back. And I think that many of the participants mentioned about value or happiness, whether maybe the social science or the way of our living. And I think the, uh, that is because of the COVID. And uh, if the, there was no COVID, maybe then we didn't discuss about this so uh, yeah. extensively. And why COVID changes our discussion? Uh, Dr. Sumi already mentioned about the COVID uh, prohibits our movement and also the communication, and which is related with uh, entertainment. But I think the, it is not only connected with our entertainment, but uh, it's uh, fundamental to our living style. Communication and uh, moving is uh, a kind of the feature of our humankind. So I think the COVID just stops us, just forces us to being the human. So I think that maybe you know, due to that kind of the uh, strong, uh, strong force, we need to think about our own selves. And especially the, this kind of the communication and the moving is something very peculiar to our uh, modern society. And uh, so because of COVID, we need to realize the context of the modern society, probably. And uh, if there's no COVID, we didn't think about anything about uh, this kind of context, but we found that this context or in other words, the inertia of our own society. And so I think that probably you know, we need to think about this own iner inertia of our society and which is the, already mentioned by the Dr. Fukushi as a capitalism, maybe. And also uh, that we need to think about the uh, excessive use of the energy and the materials. This, is, uh, this has been our society. Uh, this has been the inertia of our society and um, probably we need to rethink about it and redesign about it. And I think the I have the read uh, some of the papers and uh, one of the most radical paper states that and we have, we believe that we can control our own society and our uh, nature, but uh, this is just an illusion and we need to realize that. I think that's the most uh, drastic paper or most radical paper. And so I think that uh, even our natural scientists, we try to control our own world. But I think that we need to realize something about it. We are not perfect, as already discussed. So uh, given this the pre-assumption of the controllability, probably we need to rethink about this pre-assumption. And uh, also the, I would like to mention the last thing, and uh, we are just, uh, accustomed to uh, think our world is a human world or human kingdom. But actually this world is not only for the humans, but also for the animals and the plants. And I think that we need to reconsider this fact. This is actually a fact, but probably we tend to uh, forget about this fact. And, but uh, COVID actually realizes us to notice this important fact. So probably in the, in the, we will make the, another uh, symposium in the next time, next year or well, this year, I, should, I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, th that time and our discussion will change more probably. 
That's my observation. And finally, I would like to thank all the participants and all the discussants, all the audience, to uh, thank, thanking. And uh, I hope you have a very good, really good year uh, this time. Thank you.